Today we're working with our friends at the Tracker Boating Center in Brainerd, Minnesota. Hi folks, I'm Eighth with Two Guys in a Ride. And today Rob and I are down here in beautiful Brainerd, Minnesota. We're at the Tracker Boating Center and we're with Chris. Chris, what do we have behind us? We have a ProGuide 175 combo. I gotta tell you, the first time I saw this, I'm thinking from a distance, I'm thinking fiberglass. Right. But it's aluminum. Oh, it's all aluminum. Okay, yeah, all so aluminum boat. explain this to me. Sure. Because I've seen, first of all, there's no rivets. No rivets. It's all welded okay. hull. That's solid. That is just incredibly yeah, yeah. dense and solid. You can hit this thing anywhere like that. So what is the, the deal same. with that? That's the way that, that we put it together. It's okay. A, it's a pre-molded, and when we when they create the boat or build the boat, they, they form the aluminum, and then they... After, after the outside is actually formed, there's very little stress on that, pot, on that boat in the aluminum. And then they push the insides in and then weld the insides in to create the structure that's, that you see today. Okay, so you might see a few little beauty marks in the video coming down the line, right? You do. And those are caused by? Those are caused by the, uh, just the welding. It's the back side of the okay. weld. So when they, when they are welding the structure together with the support on the inside and the floor and everything else, that's what you see on the back side of it. But uh, I'll tell you what, to get an aluminum bolt that feels as solid as a fiberglass, that's incredible. You were talking, and I were talking earlier, you were yeah. saying you could gut the boat completely, floors, could, everything, yep. and it would maintain its shape. It would maintain its shape. So the outside of this boat really is like stress-free sitting there. That's just, wow. That is the first time I've seen aluminum like that on a boat. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Trailer real quick. Uh, so the boat that we're looking at today is a uh, comes as a whole package. Comes as a whole package. So you get everything that you see here is has one price to boat, it. Boat, motor, trailer. Correct. Okay, and and we'll get back to the price later. But mm -hmm. we want people to know it's all together. You have an optional mount for spare tire if you want. Correct. Okay, swing away tongue. Swing away tongue, oh. which is great for people that uh, struggle with garage storage. So you can actually gain about two and a half feet, feet there, there. For okay storage. one of my, my one of my favorite things is just climbing in and out of speed boats mm -hmm. is the huge step at the back right on both sides we've got the little one on the front of the wheel but then behind the wheel mm -hmm. that is just awesome yep. now, they give you a nice extended platform back there to get out and out they certainly do so explain there real quickly the two holes here uh, those two holes are actually for the live well in the front okay yep so 19 gallon live well on the front. One is intake, one's out, one is, uh, spits it out to re recirculate or? No, one is actually for the overflow. Okay. And then the other one is, is for the ejector. For okay. The water going out. Then we've got two more holes at the back of the boat. Yep. So that one, one of those is for the, your bilge pump. Yep. And the other one's for the live well. Okay. In the back here, of course, we have the motor. Well, what do we? What does this come set up with? Uh, this one is set up with a 150 horse four-stroke Mercury. Uh, that's kind of move along. And oh yeah, that is a real nice setup for this boat. Uh, they made this hull a little bit bigger, I believe, in 2018 to accommodate the 150. Okay. So they went a little bit wider and longer with this 175. Okay, tell us about the, the, uh, the uh, right in the very center down the bottom, that's your drain plug. Yep. The other, one so what are the two silver plug. screens? Those are your water intakes for your live wells. All right, uh, let's uh, take a step inside. Okay, so this has got, this is like a, it could be a combo. I mean, you, it looks like you got a spot for a ski pole. Yep, yep, that's one nice thing about this particular boat. It, uh, it's very diverse. You can fish out of it. You can ski with it. We do have a mount for the ski tow pylon. Okay. Uh, just unscrew it, put your pylon in there, and uh, away you go. Wow. All right. The seats are really nice. So you, you have got one that's down. Correct. And one that's up. So you, we can yep. kind of see the difference. Just for show. So, I mean, if you want to sit down, uh, not have the pedestal seats in the back, yep. take up room. You have these flip down seats, which are very nice because you can have them flipped up. Have two people sit here, then easily just flip this down, buckle this up, and flip this down there. And now you have a massive casting platform. You really do. To, to fish on and stand around and, and catch all your, your big fish. Now, this is uh, rated for six people. Correct. But I mean, there's seating galore. And when we get There's to the front, we'll talk about some options you can do up there. All right, let's talk about all of these 
storage areas, light yeah. wells. Yep. So, so on, on the left, starting over there, you have a storage for your batteries. Okay. And, there, and there's also an onboard, two bank onboard charger in there for your- Ah, uh, keeping the battery charged. To keep the batteries charged. The next door is um, access for your minnow bucket. Oh, that's nice, because that, then you can just pull it right out. Yep, we have another bucket that you want to take your minnows in and out. Now, a lot of lakes around here uh, do not allow you, once you have your minnows subjected to lake water, you cannot take them with you. You have to actually drain the water out so they don't want the invas invasive species okay. to travel. So you, you can pull the bucket out, put them with fresh water you might have saved in your car, and then uh, go to your next spot. So, okay. But there's a nice 29-gallon live well that's in here. Wow, that, and that, that's, that's all big. connected. That's big. Thanks, you got your bait well and your live well. Okay, so this is just another uh, connection for a pedestal seat. Correct. You want to sit up here a little taller than the motor. Yep. You want to either put, you can move one of the seat, like the seat that's up front. You can put that in there. Or a lot of people like to uh, add the casting seat, which is more just a small little Smallest. seat that you can yep. sit on. Yep. All right. Let's. Uh, I'm going to lift this up for a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see how much room we have. Down here on the floor, you've got three different possibilities for your chair. You do. You There's know, center, I mean, actually either one actually gives you quite a bit of like knee room. Mm -hmm. You know, when you think about this chair being here and your knees, but if you really want extra leg room, you can put it in the middle. Correct, you can actually travel with five people behind the windshield, very comfortable. Yeah. Just move the seat that's up front, put right it right in there. the middle spot and you can comfortably sit five people back here. Now, uh, of course, when the seats are folded up, mm -hmm. you get cup holders, but then they're kind of covered when you close them because there's no one there. Right. All right, uh, down here? Just some extra storage, you know, uh, I'd look okay. at that as, uh, you know, I, I, I would probably put a lot of my plastics for fishing. Okay. These, what are they? Those are vents for the floor, so if okay. you get any moisture underneath the floor, uh, when you're water skiing and things like that, people getting out of the water, oh, yeah. dripping wet, uh, or rain or anything like that, uh, any moisture that gets under there has a chance to vent that moisture out. Okay, what is the flooring? The okay, flooring well. is actually wood. So okay. this is a, is a seven, seven layer uh, marine plywood. Okay. So you get a lifetime warranty on it. All right, and what is the cover that's on this? What is, that is, is that like a weave or? Yeah, it's a woven floor. Okay. Uh, not as aggressive as our pontoons, but um, very, very nice. Uh, we get nothing but positive feedback from fishermen because uh, it's very easy to clean up. You spill a cup of coffee or uh, uh, some of my family members would spill a, a little cup of your night crawler dirt on there. Yeah. <laughs> very easy to grab water, flush it right down and, and clean it up very easily. Okay. That, that's always nice to have it easily cleanable. Yeah. And, and just so you can tell, um, as you can see in the video, but these are not snaps. Those are not snaps. So are these are just the, part of the structure putting the floor in. Correct. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the, the, the two seats here. Now you've got very comfortable fishing seats. Um, you got good padding. Good padding. They, they do adjust, um, not up and down, but you can either have them swivel or they slide forward. Slide forward or backwards, both sides. Correct. Okay. And then um, right underneath us, Chris. Yes. We can just show this side. You've got, okay, so this side is lights. You have lights, the next oh, paddle else. in there. Your, okay. And uh, the, the lights for the front of the bow. And then also you have your stern light as well. Okay, and, and then, then on your side, I believe is got to be fishing rod storage. Yep, and actually you also have that ski tow pylon I was talking about inside there. On the oh, so that, so that comes with it. Yes. With the okay, nice. Yep. So this one here has that, and you can use this also for rod storage, and it'll hold up to a seven foot six rod. Wow. So a long rod. So long can, rods. Yeah, a lot of the bass guys like to use while we're, that one. While we're right here, you've also got the on, on the new boats got the new mm -hmm. cleats that are lay flat and then yes, pop up. That's new for this year, which is very nice to have because they're not sticking up. You're not gonna catch yourself on them. Okay, so what is VersaTrack? VersaTrack is a groove that we put in the, in the gunnel of the boat and you'll see the track right here. And you can use a carriage bolt uh, and add multiple different things to it like oh. rod holders. You wanna add more cup holders. I had a gentleman actually build his own uh, he goes up to Canada quite a bit, and he built his own 
uh, cutting flay board that would attach right into oh, the nice. track. Oh, so. nice. Did he build a grill on the other <laughs> side? <laughs> he should have. All right. We'll come back to, uh, to the driver's area in a minute, but I want to talk about the passenger area. Mm -hmm. So you've got, obviously, a cup holder. This does have two speakers. It does have two speakers. Okay, Correct. so let's talk about this, because this is brand new for this year. Yes, they, re they use a, a different material this year for the consoles. Uh, very solid. Uh, Boy, very is it weather, solid. Very weather resistant. Yep. Man, really nice. that has got a funk to it. Yeah. Whew. Nice color, has a little flake in there. Gives yeah, a little yeah. gold and silver flake. Yep. Okay, you got a little storage area here. You got a spot for your passenger's phone. Cell phone. You've got dual USBs Correct. right there. Yeah. And then in here, of course, a large, nice deep cubby hole. Yep, nice wow. deep storage. All right, what do we have underneath? Is that more storage? More, more storage. Okay, simply more storage. And it's on both the driver and, and the passenger passenger's side, right? Just a little extra storage. Correct. Okay, so what is and on the floor below? as well? Yep, so that's more storage there as well. If you want to store uh, some water skis or uh, some shorter wakeboards, things like that would fit inside there. Okay. Now, then in the middle, you have your rod storage. Turn the handle. Oh, wow, it comes up the whole, mm -hmm. okay. And there as well, you have spot. You could probably easily, there, there's comfortable for eight or nine rods in there, but if you put, your, put socks on your rods, you could probably forget about uh, 12 rods in there very comfortably. Okay. And up to seven foot six in length as well. Boy, that's, so both places yep. hold that. Yep. All right, so then underneath this that battery. Is, that's where your trolling motor battery goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Surprising how much that lifts when you pull, the, when you right. pull that open. Yep, they put that kind of on a heavy heavy struts uh, in case you're out, out there, you don't want that door falling on you. Okay, uh, walk through windshield. Nice walk right. through windshield, that flips closed. This latches up here and down here when yep. you want it to. So, uh, on the driver's uh, dashboard here, one of my favorite mm -hmm. areas, um, tell us what it's set up with. On the left-hand side, you'll see it has that nice kicker radio. And again, that's Bluetooth compatible. Okay, so, so any you app to... on your phone that plays yep. Yep. audiobooks or music, radio, whatever, that'll work. Correct. And it also has, I think, built-in AM and FM radio? Built-in tuner, so you get okay. the AM and FM as well. Okay. And on top of that, you'll see the Hook 5, has a Lorenz Hook 5, that's standard for this boat. Okay, that comes as part of the package, that's included the in package. the price. Correct. And you'll notice the same type of material on the console. Yeah, it's, it's really, really nice. like that. Yeah. All right. The, now the gauges, you know, we have, starting on the left side, we have the RPMs, and then you also have your uh, tilt in that same cluster. Yep. The right gauge is sp speed and fuel. Then down below that one you have your water pressure gauge. Okay, and then on the far left on the, the bottom? far left is your, your battery okay. electric. All right. Does it have a tilt steering wheel? Yes, it does have a tilt okay, steering wheel. Okay, so button's just yep. right there. Okay. Uh, this, of course, is the ignition for the key. Correct. And you got a cup holder. And then the throttle is just a, a, a standard it's throttle. You got standard, your trim up marking. and down. You've got the center button if you want to idle a little faster. Yep, correct. Okay. And then, of course, your, I don't know what you call it, a lanyard, but your safety cord. Yep, the lanyard, again, uh, we always recommend that the driver has that attached to them when they're running the big motor uh, with their life jacket on in case they were to fall out of the boat of some case and the motor would stop. would stop. Yep. Okay, I mean, that's a really nice setup here. Um, now, you you are able to customize a lot of things that are in the boat, uh, it, the things that you sell in the store. So if I came in as a customer and I said, well, I want a different brand, mm -hmm. can you put a different brand, uh, you know, a unit up here? Absolutely. Fish locators, we have all different kinds. We have uh, Lawrence, which is standard with our boats, but if you want to switch to a Hummingbird or you want to go to a Garmin, we can accommodate all of those. Okay, now this comes with a, with a in the package with a trolling motor. But if I said, well, I want this brand and I want the net, I want the, the fish finder and the uh, trolling motor to work together. 
Mm -hmm. So I can. Yep. What they would call can you that do that? Link. Yes. Link. So Lorenz, uh, if you went with Lorenz brand, they have the Ghost trolling motor. Okay. And if you went with the uh, Hummingbird, you would hook your Hummingbird uh, Graph Helix or. Uh, and then you hook that to a like a Trove or, or an Altera brand okay. trolling motor. So that's all possible. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we do the, all that here. So, and we'll talk about price in a little bit, but with the price of the boat, what you see is, is what you get. That's what comes with it. Correct. But you guys will customize a lot of things for customers, and that may come at additional price, but mm -hmm. you're able to do that in case you're looking at saying, well, I would want a different fish finder or a different trolling motor. You can certainly do that here. Right. I, well, I would say... You know, at least two thirds of our customers will upgrade the graph and the trolling motor to okay. something a little bit better that might have a little bit higher end uh, mapping okay. and fish locating. Okay, well, let's talk about the front up here. So what do we have on this side right here? Uh, we have on the starboard side, we have storage. So a nice place to put your life jackets uh, when you're not oh, yeah, that's using deep. them, nice Ooh. deep. Wow, fire extinguisher down there, I mm, see. Fire extinguisher. Okay, and then over and on then this side. On the port side, you have a 19 gallon live well over there. Oh yeah, that's just in case your brother up front actually catches any fish. Yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> there isn't a way to bypass and suck his fish down to your tank, right? <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to do that, they'd be too small. Oh, <laughs> we won't tell your brother you said that. <laughs> All right, tell us about the uh, trolling motor. The trolling motor, that's a Minn Kota power drive. It is just a pedal drive, does not have iPilot or anything in there. So. Okay. And that is one thing that a lot of customers do like to switch or upgrade to. Okay. Uh, they, a lot of people will look for the iPilot functions of having the spot lock and right. electronic anchoring and things like that. Right. And that runs on a nice little handy remote. A remote control. Okay. Correct. And like, again, you've got several brands, you've got several different kinds, and you can do that all for the customer in the store. Correct. It's not like you're sending the boat out somewhere, it's going to be a couple months. It's yeah. in the store, done. Okay, um, now uh, this is your front yep. navigation so, light. So that is your navigation light. And, or you can... And horn. Oh, it's both. Yep, that's where your horn is at. Okay, so this hole would be for your navigation light. Correct. And this one will be the horn. Correct, the front is the horn. Okay, it's got an interesting silver mesh grill on the front. It does, yeah. Okay, of course you got a cup holder front. What would this be? That's just a tool holder. So if you want to put your, oh, your pliers in there, sure. Or something you know you have. Knife, you can just stick them. Oh, that's handy. I love that. Yeah. Hook out tools, things like that. Very accessible to keep them inside there. Okay, talk us through uh, these things right here. Yep. So on the far left, you have a that's a trim tab for your back, back motor. motor. Okay. So if you're up here fishing and you uh, you're in a small little bay and you want to trim up that motor and you, you don't do want that. to have to run back to the cockpit, you can just quickly yeah. just reach down and trim that motor up. Okay. That's just a, another 12 volt plug. And then you have another plug uh, for the adapter for the power of the trolling motor. Well, you know, it's nice that, you know, you can at that price point, you're getting a trolling motor, you're getting a nice graph. You can always option to upgrade things, but you can walk out of the store with it as is and put it on the water. Right, yeah, you know, all you need is a little bit of gas and a couple of fishing poles. All right, so what is the price of this boat as equipped with everything we've seen, trailer and everything? This boat here is a little over 38,000. Okay, but that includes yep. the trailer, which is usually uh, around a $5,000 item. Right. You've got the motor, which is half of your boat. That's a, correct. <laughs> yeah. you know, at a 150, those are expensive. Yeah, that's a nice um, I mean, that is really, really nice. And of course, you get it water ready. Correct. Yep. Yep. When you pull away from here, we have it all ready for you to go. Ready to go. And you are a service center for the boats as well. We are. We do all your servicing. If you want to do your winterizing or uh, you had any issues, you want to, again, add rigging, you want to upgrade your electronics, trolling more. Do all that in store. We do all that in store. Which is store. nice. So your customer can come to one spot. That's one of the nice things mm -hmm. about having a store that does the, you know, the whole 360 customer care package. Right. All right. Let's talk about warranty. Yep. This one has a lifetime warranty on the hull. Okay. You have a lifetime warranty on the flooring on the inside. And then everything else on here has a five year warranty. Okay. And the motor, you get a three year warranty through Mercury. Okay. The five year warranty, is that parts and labor? Yes. That's okay. a full 100% warranty. That's a full 100% warranty. So yep. for five years. Yep. You're covered. You're covered for everything. Right. 
Yeah, uh, except Austin. on the electronics is a little bit different, so we go by... You're talking about like the, the Lawrence, Lawrence and the trolley motor. Right. Those okay, are, and then they would naturally have their own. Correct. But we're talking the, the base. That's the a good thing ball. to point out. Right. But if your stereo went out, that would be covered we'll be because covered. that's part of, the, part of the manufacturer's assembly. Correct. Well, Chris, I tell you what, thank you so much for sharing your time, your knowledge on this ProGuide 175. Well, what an awesome boat. Absolutely stunning aluminum hull. I mean, okay. if you ever run into one, thump your fist on it a little bit. You're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. Right. If you've ever had an aluminum boat, it sounds like a fiberglass. So thanks again for your time. We sure appreciate yep, it. You're welcome. Thanks for watching.